The Agora was the most important trade center in Ephesus. It was in the form of a large square surrounded by columns with three gates. I've entered through the gate from the Celsus Library. Three sides of the Agora were surrounded by a portico that held the shops doing business in this commercial center. Ephesus was a port city, and goods from all over the known world were sold right here in this place. No city tells us what life was like for early Christians in the Roman Empire, like the city of Ephesus. Ephesus was affluent. It sat on the edge of a major seaport. So trade from literally all over the known world parked its ships in the seaport and filled the city with goods that were much coveted by people who came from land routes. Trade routes on land ended up here in Ephesus. So Ephesus was a rich town and it was very cosmopolitan. People from all over the world lived here, Jews and Gentiles and Persians and and most of the activity that was significant took place right here in the Agora or the marketplace. The Agora would have been filled with the fragrant aromas of spices from far and distant lands, with the beautiful colors of textiles that had been woven and brought here for sale. Uh, people would gather here socially. I mean, this was like a mall on steroids, really. This was the center of life in Ephesus and the center of life in most cities in the Roman Empire. And so what would happen here would be largely determinative of the social interactions and status of early Christians. Of course, one challenge was that at the entrance to the Agora was an incense burner. In order to enter the Agora on good terms, you had to take a little incense as an act of loyalty to the emperor who claimed to be Lord and drop it in the incense burners. Christians struggled with that. It was tough to navigate that, to be, to be shut out of the Agora meant to be shut out of so much of life.